Hello YouTube, this is JC Sparky SDC coming back with another Minecraft video. Episode 1, once again, because I had to start over. Well, here's the good news. It looks, it kind of looks like a ch uh, uh, texture pack, but it isn't. Guess what? It's actually Tekkit. T-E-K-K-I-T. -K -K the Technic Pack. An awesome, uh mod based pack comes with new let's see here I'm trying to think I'm trying to think sorry <laughs> um comes in with new blocks I guess the way to say it there is things called marble more ores I know that oh look at that over there I don't know if you guys can see that but there's an uranium ore underneath that coal uh, underneath coal blocks. There's marble, there's basalt, there's oil, there's all sorts of fuel. There's new things in this tech it pack that you can make. Generators, quarries, all these built-in machines and stuff. I even let uh, I actually convinced my friend who is not a mod uh, not any type of mod guy. He hates mods. I talked him into making a server. And he's been loving it. Until his friend blew up his house. and it, Or blew up his lab. He blew up the house. It just got really ugly. So, I came back this morning. All I see is this big, huge hole. I was helping my friend out making his lab. And I kind of was just stuck in the hole. So, this is my new house. As you may well see, it's made of marble brick, and it basically looks like cookie dough. I mean, cookie dough, that, and that's all it looks like. Um, let me see if I can show you what it really looks like. Um, too far. Uh, let's see here. There it is. Oh, wait. Why did I do that? I just showed you just a few seconds ago. Sorry. Uh, it's about, let's see here, 12 a.m. in the morning. So, this is marble. It looks basically like cookie dough. It looks like a nice thing. All the mobs and all that are still the same unless you do the Technic pack. And I will show later on, maybe in episode 2 what how to download the technic and all that so you guys can actually play um i'm doing single player i will do a multiplayer server in a little while it i'll probably start doing one tomorrow so basically to start off i guess i made my new house just wanted to show you the new house and most of the new detailed stuff that comes with it. Um, you can make jetpacks, mining lasers, you get new ore, of course, as I ex explicitly said before, I guess. Um, chainsaws, drills, all sorts of um, ores. You can make even bronze, tin, copper. Um, I know there were... Uranium is a good ore. But as you may see here as well, you can make actually um, ruby, sapphire, and emerald swords, picks, hoes, and shovels, and axes, of course. Uh, you can make sickles as well. As you can see, there's EMC, as you can see right here, EMC. That's going to be used for an energy converter, which, if or not an energy converter, an energy condenser, which allows you to copy items. Yes, I'm meaning diamonds. If you want to, if you found a diamond ore and you want to put a diamond ore in there and uh, copy that, you copy it. No such thing as a duplicator anymore, like glitches. I mean, yeah, there's still some glitches here and there that you probably could do. And I have found 
out that there is a duplicator in here. Here it is. Duplicator. It's right in there, but I haven't figured out how it's used. I haven't really made a connection how it's used, especially with the incinerator. Yes, you can actually stop building magma, all that kind of stuff. There's such things as called transport pipes, and you take it from a chest and load transport pipes into the incinerator, and you'll have, like, piston-like things. It's basically called an engine. But the engine allows it to pump the ores or random materials over into something else. You can actually pump it over into generators or a compressor extractor. You guys probably have no idea what those things do, which I, some may not, some may do. Honestly, I haven't got really good in touch with these yet. Um, where did I get the 64? Uh, that didn't come here with me. Anyways, alchemy bags. Great idea. I love them. Alchemy bags. You can have your own personal storage. When you die, and if you have certain things in there, if you build another one of those, you'll still have it. But you have to pay attention what color you do. The best part is, when you're over a certain item and you pr uh, press right, not right click, what am I doing? Anyways, R, it'll bring up how to craft it. This one involves the alchemy chest, which I'll explain later in ep other episodes, and uses wool and covalence dust. Covalence dust, oh yeah, you need a diamond for it. I don't got diamond. Uh, that's right. Anyways, you can make upgraded chests. So if you want to make a copper chest, you make a copper chest. Basically, make a chest and then shape it around with copper. All a copper. Um, note that when you do a copper up, when you upgrade to a copper, you can't get rid of the copper. You can't make it into an iron or a silver chest. The only way you can do that is if you have a regular chest and you make it into an iron chest or a silver chest, as far as I know. Then you can upgrade it to gold, diamond, and crystal chest. And basically all it is is um, a bigger chest. You, ha you hold more. No, you cannot make double chests. I have tried. So has my friend. We are quite new to this game, but not too new, because we've been playing this for about a week now. Um, we got, I mean, once maybe in a week, you have almost everything. It's not that hard, I do know that. Um, in later updates, you can have more stuff. There's copper cables, and uh, more armor. Now, I have heard that the quantum suits have special abilities. Apparently, the helmet makes you not hung have a hunger issue anymore if you make the helmet, which if I ever make a quantum suit, it's going to probably be in episode 90 million. <laughs> but also, in the... Uh, quantum boots, when you fall, you do not take damage. Uh, the leggings, let's see here, they make you run faster, as far as I know. And the body armor is basically, if you get hit, it doesn't bother you. I have tried swimming through lava with these. You can basically go uh, diving into them. And, uh, you will never get a scratch, as long as you have the full body armor. Now, the nano suit takes very little damage. Um, so don't go out and hit wolves, of course, because my friend hit my uh, pet dog, I guess. And he had nano suit armor on, and he got half a heart each time it attacked. Now, when 
like a skeleton attacks or something, it doesn't bother you. Half a heart, maybe. If you fall down in a really deep hole, you don't die. It's quite a nice thing. I haven't figured out what the comp uh, composite uh, vest does yet, or the backpack. It's not like a jetpack I tried. I tried very hard. I haven't figured out what the paint brushes do either. But you do have diamond. And a, industrial. Industrial diamond? You can make industrial diamond? Okay. Interesting. Um, so, that's basically everything. I mean, you can make dark matter and red matter. Which I won't be able to show until I get a lot more coal. I'll probably make a tiny coal quarry. And it's basically, if you don't know what a quarry is, all it is is you. it makes just a big, huge hole. Depends on where you put the land markers and all that. And it'll start building up a frame and it'll start digging a hole all the way till the bedrock. So, in my episode 2, I will show you how to put Technic up. And if you have any problems, I will definitely show you how to put up Technic. Um, episode 1 was just basically talking about bullcrap, and oh my god, I am outside and it's dark. Let's not try that again. And, of course, there's different sounds. Um... You can have, you can set your own time of day, which is kind of nice. You can heal the player. You can even go into creative when you're in uh, survival. You can turn on and off the uh, rain, delete mode, I'm not sure. The save slots, I'm not really sure what those are either at this point in time. Options. Uh, Minecraft layout, I probably shouldn't fuck around with these yet. Until I know what the hell they do. If you go to escape options and video settings, you have noticed that there is a lot, tons more um, settings than what you would usually get. I mean, um, you would probably get a cutoff at the advanced open GL off and the brightness. And then everything else is totally new. You can turn off your own fog. Details. Excuse me. Sorry. Details. You can even change all these uh, different types of things. You can turn on the moon. You can turn off the sun. Uh, rain and snow. Well, what was this again? Light rain, snow, faster, fancy, off. No rain, no snow. I have it on off and it doesn't turn off. Yeah. You can have animations. Um, if you do turn off the fire flame, or fire animated, it is annoying. But it does help with the nether. Texture packs, performance. I mean, whatever you need to stop you from lagging, I guess that's the way to go. I am coming down to the close end here. I have three apples, and it's nighttime. And as you can see, in the top right corner of your screen, you get a mini map. Which, if you press the semicolon or the colon, it zooms in on the map. Um, like the quotes, the I'm trying to think. What does this button do? No. Uh, anyways, basically like the quotes button, it brings up the full map. And personally, it's quite nice so you know where the hell you're going. It's better than making a real map. So, I guess I'll come down to the close here and I will make a second video tomorrow when I'm actually up and at it. Later, YouTube.